Hey <laughs> guys, uh, wait, I, I'm not, are we? Wait, hang on. Hey guys, welcome back to Try. Huh, huh, welcome back huh, to Try huh. Hard to Play. Oh, Spongebob. I didn't, I didn't show you our new power yet. We got a new power. We did? Yeah, we can bowl bubbles. So if you want. It looks like you're fisting you know, fuck the it. water. Let's go back to, uh, where, where was it? Oh, it was in the, it was in the Goo Lagoon. Oh, the Goo Lagoon? Yeah. Oh, dude, we can, we can do ball. that again. Dude, we can you can do that in um in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman too. That move, the the ball. Yeah, I think that's where it came from. Yeah, probably. All right. Um, so wait, first, wait, wait, off... I put on the timer. Hang on. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. We're good. Hey guys, welcome to Hearts. No, 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 no. I guess. Oh, or, I don't okay. know. Well, okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? I All right. Don't know. First, Just I'm gonna give you a choice here. I'm gonna give Just you a choice. Play the damn here. game. Should we go to uh, Rock Bottom, Sandy's house, the ba the mermaid, the mermalair, or uh, Sand Mountain? Which one is best? Uh, Sand Mountain's fun. That, I, well, first of all, we can only go to Sandy's house or the Mermel Lair. Sandy's house. Sandy's house. Mm -hmm. Let's go fuck that squirrel. Oh, dude. Would you, though? Yeah. Why? Given no other option, if I'm at the bottom of the sea, the only mammal. She has no tits. She has a lot of tits. What are you talking about? Not really. Look at that. Ew, she's weird looking. She is. It took me a long time to realize she voiced... And the same chick voiced Cindy and Jimmy Neutron. Ser Wait, seriously? Yeah, I thought I told you this last session. Well, uh, did you? I, you may have. I just forgot because I, I have the memory of a squirrel. It's fucking. Uh, oh, you have the memory of Sandy? Yeah. Ah, Jesus. I, also, I like the detail that he's like all fucked up, SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he's like he can't breathe. Yeah. Dude, have you ever seen that video, right, SpongeBob think... style? He's like no. SpongeBob style. Like it was, it was Gangnam style, right? He's like SpongeBob style. Some guy saying, and like this is creepy SpongeBob like this. Oh, he looks like this, yeah. like, <laughs> and he's like brown, oh, bless, and bless, it's bless. really creepy. Like, I gotta show it Ow, to you. Fucking, like, what um, are you trying to do now? I, I'm just you gotta kill the robots. 1955, 1960. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty then. Yeah. See, I don't. Ew, know. that's creepy. It looks like that, but he's going yeah. like this. <laughs> I like don't dancing. understand. Ew, I, why? I, That's scarier than anything in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. It really is. I don't understand why freaking, um... Oh, man. Freaking everyone, like, they, they're making me work to get these golden spatulas, even yeah. though I need them to move on, and uh -huh. I'm trying to save the town. Yeah. All right, first off, I'm going to get another pair of underwear. Yeah, it's like, it's, like, up, it's like the power cells in, like, Jack and Daxter. Or, no, like, the shines in, in Mario Sunshine. It's like, bro, who are these townspeople that have shines that they could use to help their city... But yeah. they're not used. They're just keeping them. Exactly. It, it makes no fucking sense. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get a spatula and an underwear real quick. Why? Because uh, the underwear gives us one more hit, and the spatula gives us another spatula. We only have like thirty seconds. Yeah, I, I can do that in thirty seconds. Look at this. It's easy. Oh, dude, this is like um, this is like that one level in Mario sixty four, the come TikTok come clock. Come on, come on, come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh God. Come on. Fun. Jeez. Dude, this reminds me of in Mario Sunshine when you have to do the the levels where you're on the uh, the Rubik's cube things. Yeah. Oh, there's a freaking Rube Goldberg machine, the Mermelair, that I have never successfully done in my life. Hmm. I've only done it once, and it was I, it was just pure luck that I did it. Oh God! <laughs> All right, so let's Thanks, do the Mermelair real quick. The Mermelair is really interesting. Wait, 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 did we just finish Sandy's house? Yeah. That tree was sounds it. like nothing. That was it? Yeah. There was no- Oh my god, and, and Reds of the Flying Dutchman, it's a whole level. You go up the tree and there's like different levels. Well, this game is not as interesting. And it's also huge in there. Dude, let's try- We'll- we'll, we'll see. We'll play Reds of the Flying Dutchman like here. here. Oh my god. <laughs> they look like the Canadians from freaking South- <laughs> Look at him! Look at his freaking- Look at his lip-ass lip! Look at his <laughs> underbite. Twood. Twood be my greatest owner of the picture television. He's old people in there. He looks like a Muppet. He looks like something and I can't put my finger on it. What does he look like? Okay, we gotta do the Mermelair. He just looks like Elmo. He does look like, okay, we can get a sock by hitting that. He just, he just punched a lady in the face? Oh, dude, we can do much worse. Can we fuck him? Yeah. <laughs> Is that, wait, is that, is that Old Man Jenkins? Yeah, it is Old Man it Jenkins. It is Old Man Jenkins. There's a, there's a sock in here somewhere. Oh my, her eyes popped out of her head! Yeah, it did. Okay. Getting a Robot Menace, Chum Bucket. The Cum Bucket. That's literally the same voice actor as the fish dude. It is. It's Mr. Lawrence. Oh! That's what he goes Retirement by. Home Girls Gone Wild is playing now. Oh. Alright, that's how we get the sock. Ew, the Cum Sock. Patrick's Cum Sock. 
That's disgusting. All right. Okay. All right. We got the Kamzak. Now, All right. Now, now to the Mermelair. So, the, so the, the the old folks home just allowed this to be a thing. Well, they probably. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but what? <laughs> That's, that was like nightmare fuel. Oh, if only he had that face and Sandy's tree dome with that on, it would have oh, been like, no. that would have been like freaking, that would have been like the ring or the grudge or whatever. It would be really bad. Okay. Oh, jeez, that's uh, bad. All right. This is cool. Dude, this is really interesting, this level. It's a cool level. I like the cave aspect of it. I like the walkways. It's nice. This is awesome. Wait till you get to the There's dance There's a level floor. in, um, oh, great. There's a, there's a level in uh, Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules that's, that reminds me of this. Dude, it, like th these games are very similar. I noticed. Yeah, well, they were all made. Well, they they were under Nick Games, so I think they were made by THQ. Yeah, THQ made this game. I think THQ made all the all right, games, so but the thing is, like, they didn't, didn't use all the same style. All right, this is the dance floor. They really, they really. We can't step it. on it's the red really squares. The red squares will hurt us. I don't, yeah. I don't know why. I don't question it. <laughs> don't question it. Just do it. <laughs> now get on your belly. Don't question it. Just do it. <laughs> Do it, asshole! Fucking, I missed. What the what? Oh, you got scared by the robots. When the robots get near you, you get scared. Really? Yeah. Did you check it out? Why? Uh, I guess he's scared of robots. That's dumb. Wouldn't you be scared of robots? No. You see these fucking hammers? These fucking explodey bombs? Attention everyone, God, run damn. for your lives! Robots are taking over the world! Our but world! It's like in Dragon Ball Sagas. We were scared of those big bomb ones that kept blowing up the buildings. Wait, and I don't, I don't know if they've over. seen Sagas yet. I'm not sure if uh, uh, yeah, Sagas really set yet. Oh! Baby and triple. Oh! So what does that accomplish? I can't remember. Oh, it gives me that. Oh. Duh. So I get 100. Really? That's, that's it? it? That, yeah, that's it. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's, like, all... the, that's like the crowns in Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules. They don't matter. Yep. Whoa! Okay. Uh, they just give you extra lives, right? Yep. Yeah, no, these matter. don't give me any extra lives. Um, the shiny objects are just you can use it for currency. Oh, really? That's it? Yeah, really the only reason to have shiny objects is you can give, I think, 3,000... Look at Mexican robot! It is Mexican. Why is Spongebob on a... Oh my god, they killed him. He turned into his... Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. <gasps> oh no! Oh, oh my god. Oh no. That was just like a wrecked thread. <laughs> That was like the wrecked video for Spongebob. Alright, this guy is Arf. Arf? Yeah, they say you gotta use arf. a bubble bowl to defeat arf, him. Arf, 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 Arf. Get it, get it, get it, do you get it? Then he, he flies back using his magic sombrero. See, you're somehow supposed to use a bubble bowl to get him, but he goes up the top of the stairs, and you can't go near him or he hits you. This guy's bullshit. He is. Why does he have a doghouse as a weapon? Because he hits you with it too. Oh, but you can hit him. Oh, also, if you're wondering why my voice is cracked, uh, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, which you'll see soon, um, <laughs> that. It killed us. It, it destroyed us. How much of this game do we have, anyway, left? Uh, this game, yeah. uh, we have, th we have, there's three areas, this is the first level of the second area. Okay. So, so we finished the first area. I, yeah, I'm about to die. So, do you think we'll be able to finish, I don't think we'll be able to finish the whole game tonight. We might finish the third area tonight. Maybe? Think so? May yeah, maybe. That's if we're still like wanting to go with commentary, because oh, after yeah, a while yeah, I, I might get burned out, and that's kind of the... I, th I, I think I'm good right now. We got I, stuff to talk about with Spongebob. I mean, after GBZ Sagas, which is basically us just being angry the whole time. Dude, I'm so glad I'm playing a happy game right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, we needed to offset uh, that with this, Oh yeah, because... Because okay. now it's like we have a whole different commentary string to go off of because, wow, <coughs> Sagas was... I was invisible, then I wasn't invisible. Oh, don't, 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 don't spoil it. Oh, God. Oh, you forgot about the, the bikini? I did. The bungee jumping one? All no, right, no, don't, spoil the, don't spoil the playthrough. It was, it was incredible. It was just a combination of the best and... Oh, fucking... The it best was, and the was, worst thing that ever the, happened. It was to me. the best of times. It was the worst of times, basically. That is the best way to put it. Yeah. Actually, right. That, that literally no better way to put it. <laughs> it oh, literally you know, was that. You want to see something cool? I, I, you'll get. You guys will love it. You, you want to see something cool? Yeah. Invisible boat mobile. Oh, that's cool. That is really. That's cool, cool that they do that kind of stuff in. This. And it still has physics, even though it's not there. Was is it there before you turn it on? Yep. Oh, that's cool. It's always there. That's cool. That, Bubble Bowl can that's, also that's be really used neat. to press buttons. I love it when games do that kind of stuff. Just, oh, dude, it doesn't need to be there, but there, it's just The cool. attention that games 
the attention to detail in like modern games just doesn't exist, unfortunately. No. The, the, there's no those little cool like at, at the playground, dude. Did you press the thing? It gives you the. Th it's like a little Easter egg thing. Like what? It's like, yeah. yeah. Like in Jack like, and Daxter, there's, there's no there's playground rumors anymore because like you can just fucking look up shit. In now. Jack and Daxter, in the lava, last lava tube level or whatever it is. All right, that is the first part. Okay. That's all we can do there. That's all we can do there. All we can do there. Oh well, you know. So the next next bit involves. There's a. This is the most bullshit level in the whole game, in my opinion, because there is two just fucking unreasonably hard things. There's that. There's this. Mm -hmm. This is the Patrick level where Patrick just, just fucks about. It makes me want to murder him. Also, tomorrow on Tryhards. No, it's not tomorrow on Tryhards yet. It's ten minutes, isn't it? Well, I mean, I get. We'll give it a little more leeway. I, I'm gonna go to about twelve. Okay. Just so, just in case we have to edit things. All right. You know. I'm happy to see you. Not the kind of happy you feel on the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel on the back of your elbow. What about Shut the kind up. you feel on the on the tip of your dick? Oh, that's a good kind of happy. That's oh, jeez. This is a cool. I love this level. Design. Father Christmas, fuck me, pussy. You know, as much as I like. All right, I'm gonna go get that. As much as I like Revenge there. of the Flying Dutchman for just the mood, like the the design of this game, the level design looks really cool. Dude, like, wait really till you get looking. to Sand Mountain. Sand Mountain is awesome. Or Kelp Forest. Mm -hmm. Kelp Forest is. <gasps> no, no, the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Wait, there's the, there's also a Flying Dutchman's yeah. graveyard in this. You get to fight the Flying Dutchman's a boss in this game. I know he's the end of he's the end boss of Revenge of the Flying Dutchman as well. Dude, he's a boss in this- okay, fucking this is bullshit, but I got, I got to do it. Oh, thanks for recycling the bosses, uh, 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 I would be amazed if it's just, if it's- he's not the final boss of this game. The final boss is a giant Spongebob robot, spoilers. Oh, well, okay, the, the final boss of Revenge of the Flying Dutchman is the Dutchman. No, and it's creepy up as hell. Throw fruit and throw it to each of these funnel machines! This is such horseshit. <laughs> you know what? I- I think there's a way to cheat this one. I'm gonna try. There's a Without level in, uh, there's a level in freaking, uh, oh. what do you call it? There's a level in, uh, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. We like played this. a game that had these in it before. Oh, I can't Wait. cheat. I think we did. One more time, I'm gonna try to cheat. But nope. you can try to, like... No, you can't do it. Uh, I, 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 I hate this part so much. It's such <laughs> horseshit. Well, Joey... That's cool, but tomorrow on Tryhards we'll have to. We'll have to. All right, one down. Okay. All tomorrow right, on Tryhards we do more of this stuff. Woo! I almost died. 